Well, good morning. I'm here at a local park and it is my uh, destination for a lot of my walks, actually. I try to make it up to this place. If you can guess where I am, let me know. Put it in the comments if you know which park I'm at. Um, but this is kind of my or, uh, destination. And uh, I'm going to try to walk and talk just a little bit until we can uh, get into it. Good morning, everybody. Good to see you, Kristen. Uh, I was looking on Facebook this morning and it is cold in other parts of the world and other parts of the states. So it is great to be here in Southern California. Amazing. Good morning. You know, have you ever been around somebody who is more interested in talking than listening? Can you think about people that you're around that who are uh, more interested in talking than listening. And uh, if you can't think of somebody, maybe that person is you. <laughs> All right. um, but seriously, I, when I think about that, a lot of times I catch myself being more interested in talking than listening. You know, I, um, during uh, this pandemic, I've been doing a lot of walking and um, and I've been listening to a lot of podcasts. And one of the lines that really uh, started uh, talking to me and speaking to me was this one line. It said, be more, uh, be more interested than interesting. Be focused on uh, being more interesting uh, than, I'm sorry, be more interested than interesting. And I just thought that was powerful, you know. Uh, we've been talking about listening, the power of listening, listening to God, but listening to others as well. And uh, it makes me wonder, what, what does it take? And I want you to put this in the comments, whether you're live with us now or even just listening uh, now, whenever you catch this video, what does it take to listen well? What does it take to listen well? And then what makes listening difficult at times? What, did, what does it take to listen well? And what makes listening difficult at times? I think about these things and um, I, I think about people who are good listeners. Do you know some good listeners? Uh, you know, I'm so thankful for those individuals. Uh, Pastor Tim is a very good listener. Um, and one of the things that I realize is good listeners ask good questions. You know, good questions. And in some ways, uh, you know, one of the best listeners of all eternity or the best listener in all eternity is God, right? And he's always open to our questions. God is always open to our questions. So even in this comment uh, section, if you have a question you just want to ask, what is a question? What is a good question you want to ask of God or just of life? And we will walk with you in that question. Good to see everybody. Happy Tuesday. Yes, happy. Uh, good to see you, Cindy, as well. Um, but just wondering about listening and asking good questions. Another thing that I think about um, that what it takes to be a good listener is that you have to care. In a lot of ways, we listen to the people we care about, right? And then uh, another thing that I think about of what it takes to be a good listener or to listen well is, quite honestly, uh, it takes some need. Like I was reading a devotional or an email this morning from a friend who's a missionary and she is listening for the voice of God because she desperately needs God to speak to her right now. And when we have this need and desire to hear, we listen well. You know, hi, Alora. <laughs> hi, Alora. Can you see me? Hi, Alora. Um, and so as I think about listening, uh, listening well and listening to God, I think about God and, and how he invites our questions. So again, if you have a question for God, um, feel free to put it in the comments here. We will walk with each other. Most likely it's on our hearts as well. What are some good questions we can ask of God today? Uh, we know that he is open to listening to our questions. And what are our questions of him? Um, 
we also know that God cares for us and he listens well for us. The, the question I have is, do I care about listening to God? And am I desperate and in need to listen to God this morning? You know, so as we think about listening well, uh, I want to invite us to listen well to God's voice through Scripture. Through Scripture, God speaks to us. And so I want to invite us to listen well, to, to listen to God's voice to us this morning through Scripture. And one of the, my favorite passages is the Sermon on the Mount. And um, I want to invite us to just listen to what God is trying to say to us through this passage. We've probably heard many times. I'm going to try to take myself out of the picture a little bit and just uh, allow you to enjoy God's creation, the walking path. And I just want to share a song, a, the Sermon on the Mount and just invite the Holy Spirit even now to speak to you. What is God trying to say to you through his scripture this morning? Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are those who mourn, for they will be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they will inherit the earth. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they will be filled. Blessed are the merciful, for they will be shown mercy. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they will see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they will be called children of God. Blessed are those who are persecuted because of righteousness, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are you when people insult you and persecute you and falsely say all kinds of evil against you because of me. Rejoice and be glad because great is your reward in heaven. For in the same way they persecuted the prophets who were before you. You are the salt of the earth. But if the salt loses its saltiness, how can it be made salty again? It is no longer good for anything except to be thrown out and trampled by others. You are the light of the world. A city on a hill cannot be hidden. Neither do people light a lamp and put it under a bowl. Instead, they put it on its stand, and it gives light to everyone in the house. In the same way, let your light shine before others, that they may see your good deeds and praise your Father in heaven. This is the word of God for the people of God today. How is God speaking to you through this classic passage that Jesus spoke to his disciples to share with them God's desires, God's ways. I invite us to listen well to God today, to listen well to others as well, to be more interested than interesting, to focus on listening well. May God speak to you well today. I know that he loves you, cares for you, and boy, I know he wants to speak to us. Let us turn our ears and our hearts, because they say listening is not only an art, but it is a posture of the heart as well. God bless you today. Enjoy your walk with the Lord and with others as well. Have a great day. Bye.